Alright, so hello everybody. Sorry there was not a video last week and things missing. No videos, sorry. Um, I lost my SD card and yeah, so I don't really have time to go out and get one until today. Here's a video now. Uh, let's just ignore the lack of videos that I've just had. So yeah, I'm gonna do my April favourite favourite. April favourites. I know it's a bit early, but um, I really need to get a video up and this is kind of, I know it's coming to the end of April now, so I can really get this up. And yeah, so I'm going to start off with skin products. Okay, so I only have two skin products. The first one is the simple, uh, this thing. It's basically just a face wash. It's a foam face wash and it's really good on my sensitive skin. Somebody's in the toilet and they're gonna hear me talking to my camera. Alright, anyway, yes, so this month I've been really liking this. It's been helping keep my acne away along with the, which I haven't told you about. I'm now taking some tablets for my acne and that helping, so you should probably see that improve. But that face wash has been really helping too. Okay, so the next product I'm gonna show you is also, once again, simple. This is my moisturizer, and I've only been using this kind of a short amount of time, um, not the whole month, but so far I've been really really liking it, especially um, in April because since I've been taking those tablets it's been making my skin really really dry, obviously it's meant to. This, even though it is a um, moisturiser, this is for shine control, it is actually called the Spotless Skin Anti Blemish Moisturiser and it has zinc and chamomile to kind of help um, get rid of your acne. So this I've noticed the difference in that and it's also been helping keep my skin moisturised and things not flaking. I was having some bad days where I wouldn't be able to wear any type of makeup because it was just really really crap. Next one you have seen me use in quite a few videos even before April um, but I'm really really liking this especially this month uh, because I've noticed a big change. I've been using the Maybelline Baby Lips and this is the Sensitive Skin one and yeah I've just really really been liking this to be honest. Um, not really got much to say about that one. Okay moving on to makeup. The first one I have is the, the MAC Blot Powder in its breast. I have mine in the shade Light which is the lightest. Um, the front just looks like this and you open it and I'll cover that for you. Um, so this is the palest one which up to my skin. It looks very pale but it's not meant to give off colour, it's just meant to kind of keep the oils in and it really does do that, especially I use it with my Studio Fix Fluid by MAC and together at first they didn't seem very good but as I've been using them more they're starting to work really well with each other and this I recommend this to anybody with oily skin, I don't think I'll ever change. The next bit of makeup that I'm going to show you is these two MUA eyeshadows. Now the reason I'm showing you these two specifically is because um, the eye look that I have on today, I'm actually using a, um, I'm using this shadow and then a MAC shadow for the crease, which is the colour that you can mainly see. But I've been using these two a lot this month. Um, this one kind of got a bit weird by the end of the month, but it's still colour, colour still works and everything. So what I do is I use this as the base for the whole eye, so I can it just up to the brow. I do use highlight under my brow as well though. And then I'll wing my eyeliner out and I'll kind of use this to um, follow in the crease and follow a little bit out. Um, to follow the wing kind of but I do use a MAC shadow for the crease sometimes this is just a cheaper version so I'm showing you these but I have been using these a lot this month so one that I forgot to mention before which I really should have when I was talking about skin products kind of but it is makeup is a product I have literally waited so long to get I got the Benefit Professional finally and I don't think I'll ever um, use a different primer ever again Honestly, for my when I have flaky skin days, it just flattens it. It is perfect, honestly. I recommend this to anybody. So I'm going to move on to the one hair product that I have. And if you have not seen my hair care video, please, I'm going to put it here. And you can click that video there if you want to go watch that. One thing I did not include in that was 
this Garnier Fruity Style Volume and Body um, mousse, and I don't use mousse all the time. As you can tell if you have seen my hair care video, I like using voluminous shampoos and things on my hair because that is mainly what makes it, well, the way I like my hair. It is probably the best one I've had for volume that actually works, but I have to wait till my hair is like semi-dry and then I put it on I have to dry it straight away otherwise it'll just stick to my hair and it'll not look very nice. Okay so these three favourite albums this month, I've had them all, well I got one of them for my birthday and one of them for Christmas but these are all, all the songs that were on these because they're older albums. Um, I already knew and things that I had on my iTunes but I just wanted the actual album. In number one, which, let me just say, you know I love 30 Seconds to Mars, okay? Nothing beats, nothing beats this album. Nothing. <laughs> um, I've been really, really liking this album at the minute because I tend to just listen to like This Is War, which is the third album, and Mainly Loveless Faith and Dreams at the minute. Don't know why, but I was. And I've been going back and listening to A Beautiful Lie, but especially to their first, to their, uh, sorry, first album, which is just called 30 Seconds to Mars, self title album. Um, I would name my favourite song uh, that I've been listening to this month, but I love them all. That is by far like my favourite music this month. So I hope you've enjoyed this early April favourites. Please go check out some of the links in my description of the social media. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Woo.